be honest with me, there's no way you weren't confused for just a second there. Just a second, you were thinking, this has to be Peko's channel. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus, not the Dark Den. However, in today's video, we have a very special collaboration. Today we are joined with my good friend Petko, who you all know as the Dark Den. So Petko and I actually met at the 2019 Pet Fest in Phoenix, Arizona. And that was where a bunch of us befriended each other and we're actually staying together at Mike Titula's house. Honestly, that's one of the things that I appreciated most about that trip and that experience. Besides getting to meet so many of you, it was such a blessing to be able to befriend so many fellow creators. And he was one of them. We shared a bunch of really fun experiences. In fact, we both found our first wild Wild North American tarantulas. Yeah, oh, tarantula! Oh, yeah. oh my God, a calcodius. Wait, what is this? No, that's no, right there. Let go. Oh my God, this oh. night has turned into a fantasy. Oh. We found an a calcodius, a little juvenile. Grab the calcodius. I have tarantula. Oh. Pecco, yeah, how are you feeling right now, man? I wish I could explain how yeah. I'm feeling, my friend. Um, we went herping, found scorpions and other things. Oh, that's a fat one. That's a bark scorpion. Yeah, that's the, one that's the nasty going. one. You want light or what do you want? Oh, oh shoot. No! Come back to Papa. Oh, oh, it, it is coming to good Papa. And not Swam around in Mike's pool. <laughs> it was a great time. I really cherish that experience. Anyhow, we were discussing doing a collaboration video for this week. And so the idea we came up with was to send each other clips of our animals eating and just react to them. It'd be a lot of fun that way. So in today's video, we are going to be reacting to 10 of Petco's animals eating. And if you'd like afterwards, I will post a link to Petco's video so you can check out his video of 10 of my animals eating on his channel and him reacting to that. Anyways, this is really exciting. Let's go ahead now and start watching these clips and see because you guys know Petco has some fun feeding videos. Alrighty. So the first clip we're reacting to is uh, his Acanthoscuria geniculata, which is the Brazilian white banded bird eater. A beautiful spider, I cannot wait. Oh, oh my gosh, it's getting a hissing cockroach. Man, I wish. One thing I want to say is that I wish Canadians could have access to cockroaches. It's such a shame. I don't know. I just, yeah, it'd be really cool if we could have them, but unfortunately we can't. So it is what it is. Uh, they're illegal here. But yeah, they'd make such good food sources. Oh. I was gonna say it's going the wrong way, but it's definitely going the right way. <laughs> go, go, go. Yeah, they're tarsi. Hissing cockroach tarsi allows them to climb the glass, which is. Definitely advantageous if you're trying not to get oh never mind Petco is coaxing it over and I can't wait for Dorothy to get this large oh Always a good takedown with the Acanthoscurias those guys slam their food Oof That is just awesome Lots of crunching there Lots of crunching. Oof, 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 oof. Okay, that was pretty awesome. All right, so the next clip we're going to be reacting to is of Despacito, who is, as you all know, Peko's beloved bearded dragon. And it's so nice to see that Despacito is doing a lot better too. Just want to make a point about that. Peko's loving care. There's some medicine. Seems to have turned him around for the better. All right. Oh, getting fancy with it. Is that a baby carrot or something? Oh, like we're watching a ASMR video here. 
Okay, okay. I'm just gonna wipe it off the table. Ha <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I like how the door is open like that. He's just like sitting there sophisticated waiting. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is literally it. It's like a mukbang or something or whatever you call it. Or ASMR, crunching carrots. Mm mm mm. Get him, Despacito, get him. Yeah. Little head scratch. Good boy. Man, it's so nice to see him doing well. Good little guy. He's like, that's it? <laughs> okay. Awesome. Carrot snacks. And you can see Petco's uh, energy drink can collection in the background. Alright guys, so the next animal we're going to watch eat from Petco's pet family is his Avicularia Avicularia, which is the pink toe tarantula. It's funny because it's, uh, well, his style, his enclosures, they look amazing. Oh wow. Dang, that's a beautiful spider. Has the blue hues. Is a film canister? It's another hissing cockroach. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny that this this type of hissing cockroach looks kind of like a dubia in a way. Oh 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 getting away. I love his ID cards, they're super cool. E lots of hissing. The hissers do this actually by forcing air through their spiracles, and that's what produces the sound. Oh! Major crunch. You can see penetration in the abdomen there, the fang. Oh! That hissing cockroach is not having a good time. Again, so envious that you guys get to use these feeder insects. Never mind that, just even keeping them as pets would be so cool. That was awesome. Okay, so the next animal we're feeding, I mean, <laughs> what am I saying? The next animal from Peko's collection we're watching eat is his uh, Haploclastis uh, devamatha. It used to be something something psychedelicus. Um, so this is like the psychedelic tarantula. It's an old world species from India, if I'm not mistaken. And they're known for their incredibly iridescent coloration that's sort of uh, indicative to um, to like an LSD trip if you will. This is why the Psychedelicus was the former species name. He's tickling the burrow. Got some leg action there. <laughs> yeah, shy spiders. <laughs> Come on. That's a smart idea, tickling them out like that. Come on. This is a spider I really want in my collection, but they get, uh, they're kind of expensive still. They've, they've come down a lot in price, but, oh! Okay, <laughs> that works. Man, I wish we got a better look because the spiders are really beautiful. This is like, like flutter of legs and that's all you get and then they're back in. I mean, that's what matters. That was cool. Next we have Peco's Cyropagopus lividus, formerly Haplopelma lividum. Let's see. Oh wow. She's already out. That's awesome. Mine is never out. Mine is always hiding. True uh, testament to the pet hole stereotype. Mm, a nice... T Ooh, awesome. What was that? Is that a Turkestan roach or move faster than a dubia? Nice. Beautiful. Alright guys, so the next animals from Petco's collection we're going to watch eat here are the Cytala horrida, which are a species of assassin bug, which are from the Rudivide or Reduvidae uh, family of true insects, well, true bugs. And you're probably most familiar with the uh, Platymeris bigutatis, which is the white spotted assassin bug. They are very cool and they're very ambitious animals. They'll take prey that's much larger than they are. Anyways, let's get into it and watch these animals eat. 
Yeah, these look incredible. They're super neat. And if you look, you'll notice they're eggs scattered all throughout the enclosure there. The little brown pearly beads around the animal, those are eggs. You can see some are popped open, the husk. Oh, missed. See how uh, aggressive they are? It's really entertaining. Oh, nice close up. Wow, this species has little barbs on its uh, thorax. That's super cool. So what it's doing is it actually has a proboscis that it pokes the cockroach with and is injecting venom and uh, digestive enzymes that break down the tissue so that it can suck up everything as fluid. And all that's left is the exoskeleton husk. Those are really cool animals. Okay, so next we have another Cereopagopus. This is the Cereopagopus minax, another really cool animal. This appears to be possibly an immature male by the looks of it. Very nice. Took down the roach. Yeah, I would say this is probably an immature male. Whew. Zoom out. Awesome. Very cool. Okay, so next is a true spider. This is a species of wool spider. I'll be honest, I don't have a lot of experience with uh, true spiders. I mean, I'm getting more into them, more on that soon. But uh, this, yeah, it's, uh, it was labeled to me as a wolf spider. Maybe I'll find out what kind. It's beautiful. If you know, comment down below. I love the car. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, look at all those Turkestan roaches. The car is hilarious. It's Aragog and Harry Potter. That's how I see it. All right. Oh! Very nice. Yeah, you can always count on true spiders for what they lack in like the bushy fuzziness. They're very aggressive feeders and that's very entertaining. Beautiful markings. It's like a miniature uh, Terrascondra maculata or something. And you can see with the uh, True spiders, the chelicerae are pointed down, right? You have your fangs like this instead of folded under. Super cool. Just kind of that difference. It's more like that. Well, it depends. Very, very cool. That's a neat spider. I don't know if I can even get those here. Maybe from Tarantula Canada. They're really neat. Active animal, too. Okay, so we're actually down to two animals. It's crazy how fast that goes by. Uh, we have a scorpion next. This is the Hadrus arizonensis, which is the desert hairy scorpion. Funny enough, when we were in Phoenix, we did not see any of these, but that's probably because they are a burrowing species, so they'd obviously come out at night, but I imagine a lot of prey would unintentionally scurry into their burrows and be consumed. Okay. Very nice. Wow, this animal is quite the burrow as well. It's excavated. <laughs> you know, I love how it's like the same little tickle dead leaf plant strand he's using to coax the animals out. But I appreciate it because it lets us see a burrowing species out in the open. They're really beautiful scorpions. Oh, 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 oh. It's got your tool. Ah, here comes the roach. Getting so envious you can use those. Oh! Oh, man. Ah, there's the stinger. Look at it getting in there. Looking for some soft spots between the exoskeleton. And this is a cool example that shows you the morphology of the scorpion. It can be so flat, but that tail can just come around the side to the front of the animal and envenomate the prey. You know? It's really cool. Okay, so the last animal here is the Fursifer pardalis, which is the panther chameleon, which is Felix, Petco's infamous panther chameleon. He's probably gonna be quite entertaining to watch eat. Got a little supplement covered roach going over the tree. Oh, there's Felix. Ah, <laughs> that was a nice gentle grab. <laughs> Lots of munching and crunching there. More mukbang. 
such pretty animals. Bye. All right, guys. Well, that was it. There you have it. Oh, that was fun. It's always cool watching other people's animals eat. Feeding videos are just really entertaining in general. But it was a new experience to film myself reacting the way I probably would, just not out loud, watching one of Peko's videos. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Peko, thank you so much for um, collaborating with me here and sending all these fun, entertaining clips to watch. And yeah, if you guys aren't already subscribed to Peko, Definitely check out his channel. You will not regret it. Super wholesome. Very nice. He's a good friend in the community. Produces some great content. Takes great care of his pets. So I'll post a link down below for his video on his channel. And you guys can check that out. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support this channel further, I have a Patreon as well as a link to merch down below where you can support myself and my animals. It means a lot to me. And yeah, I will see you guys on Tuesday. Have a wonderful weekend and take care. Bye guys.